is gentle flow and that's just going to be uh, using hatha yoga poses hatha yoga is physical postures and yoga when it first came to the western area from the east it was simply meditation so when we moved it to the western from the eastern area they created hatha yoga which is physical postures so it's a moving meditation these physical postures in hatha yoga are a distraction for our mind as we create calmness from the inside out let's go ahead and come over to the mat or wherever you are let's start standing up okay go ahead and start out in your legs and meet you into dasana and take the arms over, interlace the fingers, turn the palms out. Inhale and exhale, push the hip to the side. Imagine your hip bone is trying to touch the side wall. Inhale and other side. Exhale, sway the palm tree. Take some extra breath into the side waist. Take the legs out. In the same thing. Walk 
your hands to one side, lengthening. The only thing that was for me. And I saw the angels come. And the other side, of course, getting pressing the hips behind you back. And I still remember parts of it. The other leg comes forward, low lunge on Jani Asana. Inhale, open the heart. Lift together, extending the fingers out. Good. Holding this pose, taking the opposite hand down. Same arm on the leg, reaching forward. Inhale, and then reach back. Opening the vertebrae, and then exhale, reach back. Take that arm and take it towards the sky. Do the rotation of the weight. Letting both shoulders drop down from the ear. I breathe the part of canals and I revolve side angle. Lower down. Let's step the back leg forward in forward fold. Take time here in your Uttanasana stretch. Bend your knees and hug your legs. Rolling up, take the arms over the head. Earth is the hands to the sky. Gentle back bend, opening the heart. Exhale, swan dive forward, leaning for the heart, forward fold. Uttanasana. Arm and Uttanasana, so your hands can be on your legs or the floor or something else supporting you. Exhale, let it go. Nice. And just two more like that. Inhale, lengthening the head and spine. Exhale, softening. Good stretch. One more. Inhale, Arm and Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Coming back to all fours. It's not a Coming back into your child. Balasana. Coming up on all fours. Taking the right leg forward. Low lunge. Inhale, open the heart. Here, so your back toes can be curled or flat, it's up to you. Make sure that front leg, that that knee is on top of the ankle. So if you are here and you don't feel the stretch, please don't end up going to here because then you lose the stretch in the back leg. So instead, if you are here, take your hands down and walk the back knee back so you keep that back leg stretched because you keep the knee on top of the ankle. Good. As we are facing forward, let's lift up, take the hands on the thigh. Lifting the opposite arm, reach up. And then exhale, reach forward. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, reach forward. Very good. Come up, inhale, reach up. And then we add our twist. Taking this hand to touch the outside of this leg. This hand was here. Good, we're taking it across. And you have your twist. Drop the shoulders. If you want, in this position, you're welcome to take the arms out and drop the shoulders down. to a down dog. So your palms are wide, about shoulder width or a little bit wider. Lift the feet up into an inverted V. And then imagine you're pressing buttons under your heels as you pedal your feet. 
and push away with your hands. Adho Mukha Shavasana. And come to child pose, Balasana, all the way down, lengthening the spine. So anytime during your yoga practice today, come in child pose and stay here anytime you need to. Let's come on all fours and take the other leg forward. So last time I did the other legs, whatever leg you didn't do. Good. And then lifting up the opposite arm. Inhale, reach towards the sky. Good. Exhale, reach forward, creating length in the waist and back. Nice. Inhale. And exhale, reach forward. You got it. Inhale, lift up. And then exhale, take this hand just on the outside of this leg. Good. So we should be getting a nice release. Pressing this hip a little forward. Stretching this hip here. And remember, if you are in this position to start out with, please don't just come to here to get the knee on top of the ankle because if you lose stretch in the back over here. So instead, to align the knee on top of the ankle, if you need to adjust, take your hands down and walk the back knee back. The knee to the top of the ankle and you get the back knee stretch. So we're gonna do this. And then if you like, have a little more rotation, take your free hand and bring your ribs through. You can actually feel that happening. And add the arms. Good. Coming down. Come to down dog. Take that front leg back. Spread the fingers out. And then pedal the feet. So this is shifting your weight back. Each time. Getting a You're welcome to go down to your knees if you like. Good. Arms. So the arms are up, palms are open. This is cactus arms. 
arms. So you bend the elbows and push the heart forward. Good. So the side view here. We lift up, inhale, palms facing forward. Good. Exhale, bend the elbows, draw back, open the heart. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, bend the elbows, open the heart. Inhale, reach up, exhale, lower down. Good. Then the opposite arm lifts up. Inhale. Exhale, reach forward, feeling some length in the spine. Nice. Inhale, lift up. And exhale, lengthen. Feels good. Adding our twist. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, hand on the opposite leg, rows to Good. Exhale, lower down. You got it. Step the front leg back to an inverted V. Down dog. In your down dog, pedal the feet. Stretching the lower back. child pose. Maybe your knees are wide here and your feet are flat. Let everything go. Huh. A good time to exaggerate. Pushing the belly out. Huge belly breath. Walk your hands to one side. Pushing the hips back the other way. Take a walk, then a swim in the 
Coming up. Go ahead, walk the feet forward. Bend your knees, hug your legs, check out your head, release tension. And go to one side. Other side, guys. Feels good. Come center, roll it slowly. Inhale. At the top, take our legs out wide. Interlace the fingers, turn the palms out. Inhale and exhale. Slay palm tree, one side. Other side, exhale. Good. From here, we're going into our twist. So go ahead and sit into your chair pose, Utkatasana. So your feet are beneath the hips, and along with the knees, and you sit back. If you can wiggle your toes, you're good. Like you don't, you're, you're, you don't want to shift your weight forward. You want to sit back. And then zip up the core and be able to wiggle the toe. Good. So inhale, lift up into your mountain pose. And exhale, sit back in your chair. A wonderful way to breathe. Inhale, fill up the lungs and heart. Good. Exhale, sit back. Soften the shoulders. One more. Inhale, open the heart and lungs. And just stand with the hands in prayer. Sadasana, mountain pose. Good. Adding our twist. Taking the arms out and just twisting the straight legs. Go ahead and bend the knees here in our twist. Now you'll find a little more rotation in the waist. Good. So we're in our chair in a twist. As we inhale, we face forward and arms come over the head. And then other side. We twist, bend the knees, arms come out, exhale. So inhale, lifting up. Exhale, bend the knees, twist the other way. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, twist, and bend. One more on each side.
song that's loud maybe there we go is that better yeah okay so in child's pose let's go ahead and come up and then taking the other leg forward whatever leg you didn't do lift the arms up and exhale bend the elbows up in the heart nice inhale reach and exhale Inhale, lifting, and exhale. Good. So on this side, we have the opposite arms. We're going to go ahead and inhale, reach forward, and exhale up. Good. One more. And then we add a rotation. And exhale, lower down. Come to our down dog, pedal the feet out. Through the storms and through the calm. And then the next exhale, walk the feet forward, forward, fold, Uttanasana. To realize that you are the one. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, part way. Exhale, melt. Coming up, inhale, gentle bend back if you like, open the heart. Nice. Exhale, hands to your heart. So today we're focusing a lot on twisting, and that helps to detoxify the body. So hopefully you're feeling that. Go ahead and take your legs out to parallel and wide. So your toes could be in parallel or turning in. Good, hands come down to melt everything down, touching the floor. As you inhale, lift up part way and look forward. Exhale, melt down. Two more like that. Inhale, part way up. Exhale, let it go. One more. Inhale and exhale. Coming up, coming into our warrior two. So we bend one leg, turn the toes in that direction of the knee, and line the front heel with a back middle instep. Good. Go ahead, reach forward, come to our triangle on this side. Circle that arm forward. Take your time. Good. We're going to take our hands and put 
place both hands on this leg. I'm going to face you so it makes more sense. Now we take our back toes and turn them forward. So all of your feet are facing forward. You are welcome to step your back leg closer. So you can step the back leg closer before you feel more stable. You are welcome to put the back knee down and stay here. That's more comfortable too. Okay? This is crescent lunge. Arms come up. The back heel is lifted and all the toes are facing forward. Hands on this thigh. Good. So at this point, the back leg is up, a little bit bent, and the back heel is up and the feet are parallel. Taking the opposite arm from the bent knee. Reach it up and then reach it forward. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, reach forward. Good. Inhale, reach up. And then exhale, placing this hand just on top of that thigh and add a twist. Good. So we're twisting towards that front bent knee. The feet are parallel. Good. And then if you like, take this arm and then take an elbow to the outside of this leg. This is your full spinal twist. Go ahead, release. Come back to your child pose wherever you are. Good. I wonder how this night will be. The apple does not fall, fall from the tree. She said I almost died a week ago. Coming up, come to your down dog, pedal the feet out of Mukha Shavasana. Walk the feet forward, forward, fold. Exhale. Inhale, part way. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, open the heart. Gentle back bend if that feels good. And exhale, hands in prayer. Good. Let's try the other side. So we're going to go ahead and come in warrior two on the other direction. Virabhadrasana B. Reach the front hand forward. Come to our triangle. Circle that top arm. Exhale. Inhale. Two more. Good. One more. Coming up. Taking your hands on that front thigh now. Now we're rearranging the feet. So take all your toes and your feet and hips parallel. So everything is facing forward. Good. Step the back leg closer if you need to. You can bring your hand back and try to bring your hips a little more square forward too. You can even drop the back knee down and stay here if you'd like. Good. Taking the opposite hand. We're going to go ahead and reach forward and lift up. And reach forward. Lift up. Then adding your rotation. Opposite hand on the thigh or outside of that leg. Good. And then here in this rotation, if you want, you can put this elbow on that knee or the outside of that leg. Put your hands in prayer if you like. So this is your prayer twist. This is a lot. You are welcome to drop the back knee down if you like. Keeping the spine long. Wherever you are is okay. Or you can keep that back leg lifted. Lower down, come in child pose. Wonderful. Coming up. Let's go ahead and release. Take the legs straight in front of you. 
sitting down in your staff pose, Dandasana. Lift the arms up, inhale. Exhale, reach forward, Paschimottanasana. If you have a towel or something at home and you want to use that to stretch, place that around the feet. Push the heels forward. Letting your lower back feel open, let your head drop down. Go ahead and come up. Nice. Going into our pigeon stretch. So coming back onto all fours here. Let's take one leg up and just circle that knee around. And then circle the knee the other way. Take that knee forward. So if this is the right knee, the right knee comes forward behind the right hand. And then taking that calf and turning it forward as you sit side, bringing this calf more parallel to the front of your hips or your mat. Melting yourself down to your pigeon stretch. You're welcome to bend the back knee if you like, or you can do the other way and try to press your hips more forward and extending the back leg. If you have a pillow or something at home and you want to put your head here to balance or support, that's okay too. And just take some huge belly breaths. Enjoy the stretch. Hang out here if this 
feels good. Or if you want, staying in the same place with your legs, maneuvering your hands more towards that front foot or towards that open area of the body. Bringing your hands from the front to the side and pressing down. Ooh. Yep, I feel that. <laughs> Good. Let's go ahead and come up, guys. Take your legs into your diamond, your Baddha Konasana, and just melt the arms forward. Lower the head, shake out the head, shake out the shoulders. Walk your hands to one side, Ardha Baddha Konasana. And then other side, feeling the lower back open a little bit more. Let's go ahead and lay down. If you have a towel, go ahead and use that. And get into some leg stretches. Just take one leg up, other leg down. It can be bent if you need to. And gently pull in and drop the shoulder. Take some huge breaths in the belly to calm the mind. Good. Gently as you breathe, count to five in the mind as you inhale. Count to five in the mind as you exhale. Other way 
way around. Good, point your toes and flex. Heels away. And point. And flex. Pick up the other leg, guys. Oof. So you're welcome to bend the other knee if you need to. Shake out the shoulders, gentle pull, and soften the jaw, upper lip, cheekbones, forehead, eyebrows. Let your mind enjoy the calm distraction of the belly rising and falling with each breath. Each inhale, bring in more calmness with filling the belly up with breath. Each exhale, let go of any tension you don't need in your mind or body right now.
exhale, lowering. If you like, in this last one, close your eyes. Inhale, rising the hand. Exhale, lowering. From my heart to yours, namaste. The spirit in me honors the spirit in you. Thank you.